Hello everyone, welcome back to our Spring Boot render series. Today I'd like to talk to you about Git workflows and how to use them in your Spring Boot projects. So this workflow is by no means the only way to use Git, but it's a good starting point for most small group projects. So far we have an application that we've pushed to render, and every time we make a change on the main branch of development, render automatically deploys it. In this video we'll explain what the main branch is, how to create a new branch, and then work independently, and then finally how to merge it back into the main branch. So let's go. All right, so we're on our computer and I wanna to simulate two developers working on the same project. So I'm just gonna very quickly clone the same project into two folders. Let's say our first developer is named Alice. So we're going to clone it into Alice's folder. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with our second developer named Bob. All right, so we have two folders and they represent the same project, but let's pretend Alice and Bob are working on different parts of this application and working on different features. And so they're going to have to coordinate their code somehow. So we'll put Bob into his own workspace. And let's start with Alice. So let's say Alice would like to create a class or a controller that allows users to be able to create their own blog posts. So what Alice is going to do is we're going to create a new branch for Alice to work on. So we'll do git branch and we'll say this is features slash posts. Now this is a very typical way of naming branches. Uh, we would say what category is this in and then what exactly is the feature in this case. So other examples of categories might be things like bug fix or test or something else. Uh, and so we are going to jump into this branch by doing a git checkout and then we'll do features slash posts. And you'll notice that right now Alice is going to be placed on a feature slash post branch. So currently our application is deployed on render.com and render is constantly looking at our main development branch. Anytime our main branch changes, it is going to automatically take those changes and deploy them into the internet. This is our production application. So since Alice is working on a different branch, anything that she pushes onto that branch will not be noticed and will not be pushed into production. So let's create a controller. So let's say Alice comes into this project and uh, is going to create a new controller. Now notice that I've also added this file called helpers and this file is meant to be shared between different controllers for different developers who are working on this application. So for example, let's pretend Alice uh, requires a method that is going to format a date, right? So it requires a date object and it is going to format this date. So let's save it and let's say now she comes over to the controllers and she's going to create a new file in the controllers called post controller .java. And in this post controller, let's create a generic controller and let's say that we make a post mapping and this is add post and we'll just call this name add post and we'll get rid of the to do. And let's say now Alice would like to push the results onto this branch. So we'll do a git add, and then we'll do a git commit. And this is a naming convention that we would typically use for messages. So we would first specify the type of commit. So this could be either a feature or a fix or a refactor or a test or something else, right? So here we have a feature. So we'll, we'll just label it as a feature we Can add a blog post. All right, so this is a good description of what we have so far. And so we're gonna commit it. And now instead of pushing it directly to the branch, I'm gonna do one extra step, which is I'm going to do a git pull from the main branch. Now, the reason for this is perhaps in the process of creating this post controller, somebody has pushed something to main. So what I wanna do is make sure that what I've added doesn't conflict with what's in production right now. So I'm gonna pull it and make sure nothing has been broken and it'll say already updated, up to date, uh, because we really haven't pushed anything to main. Uh, so finally, we'll do a git push and then origin, and then we'll do this features slash posts branch. And so now Alice has created another push onto the features slash posts. All right, let's say Alice then creates a get mapping. And uh, I'm just going to save this for now. And let's pretend that Alice goes through the same thing and does a git add and then does a git commit. But this time uh, we are able to, instead of add, we're able to get blog post. And then we are going to pull from the origin main. And then finally, we are going to push to the features 
branch, uh, the posts branch. All right, but let's say at this point we realize, oh, you know what? I don't need this get mapping, or rather, I actually need something else. So what Alice might want to do is revert that push or revert that commit. So I'm going to do a revert, which basically rolls back the head. So I am currently on the posts branch. I want to roll back and I want the previous commit instead. And I want you to see that as we do that, we'll, ha we'll lose that get mapping. Okay. So let's say instead, uh, what she really meant to do was a put mapping uh, that would, would allow us to be able to edit post uh, and We'll just call it edit post, and then we'll get rid of the to-do. All right, so I think at this point, everything looks good. I'm going to save it, and we're, we're going to go through the exact same thing. Oh, we forgot to get rid of that. All right, so at this point, we're going to do the git add again. Okay, and then we're going to do a git commit. This time, we've added code for editing the blog post. I'm going to do, again, a pull from the origin main. And finally, I'm going to push to the features slash posts. All right, so at this point, let's check in on Bob before we do anything. And so here is Bob's uh, work. And so let's say Bob did the same thing. So he is going to be working on a separate controller. And uh, let's say his controller allows us to be able to buy products or show products or something like that. We're going to do a get checkout. Dash B. Now this is, uh, instead of creating a new branch and then checking it out, this does everything all in one step. So I'm going to go to a features slash products branch. Okay, so notice that this has created a new branch for me as well as switched over to it. All right, so now let's say I'm going to work on some code in our controllers. Uh, I'm going to create a product controller. And we'll just make it a simple controller. And let's just do a very quick get mapping. And this is, uh, we'll see, view all products. All right, so view all products endpoint is going to not have any parameters. And let's say we're just going to view products here. All right, so I'm not going to actually build this implementation. Uh, instead, I'll just save it. And let's pretend that Bob, in the meantime, has also the same workflow. So we'll do a git add, a git commit. And then uh, let's say we commit it to uh, as a feature and get or view all products. Okay, so we will also do a git pull from the origin main just to make sure everything is still up to date. So right now it is up to date because nobody has touched main. And then finally, we will do a git push origin and then back to this branch that we're on. Okay, so Bob is hard at work with his controller. And at this point, let's say Alice is ready to commit her changes. So she's done everything and she is ready to commit her changes uh, back to the repository. If we take a look at our repository, we have that uh, features post had recently two pushes, right? So I'm going to compare and and create a pull request. Now notice that we are uh, asking to take features post that branch and to be able to merge it into main. So let's say Alice says, okay, so I gave the, the user the ability to add a blog post and to edit a blog post. Okay? And I'm going to create this pull request. Okay, so as we create this pull request, notice that uh, GitHub will automatically kind of make a check to see if there's any merging problems. So right now there doesn't seem to be any merging problems. So at this point, uh, let's say Bob, as the owner of this repository, uh, he might be interested in checking out what that change was. So Bob uh, may at this point uh, go to uh, check out the main, and we are going to do a git pull from the main. All right, so what this does is notice that now we, we see that Alice has created a posts branch, and we can actually uh, access that. At this point, what Bob might want to do is we'll do a checkout dash b so we'll create that branch and this time we're just going to test the posts okay. so we switch over to there and same as before we're going to do a git pull from the origin and this time i'm going to pull from the features slash posts all right so this is just a copy from from what we see and right now notice that we are just checking out what 
uh, what Alice has done. So you see we have the post controller and we can take a look at what she's done and we can run it. We can say, oh yeah, that looks good. Um, everything here looks fine. And so what Bob might do is, okay, I, I can add a comment if I want to, but if, I, uh, if I'm okay with this uh, pull request, I'm just going to merge the pull request. I'm going to confirm the merge okay, to say that everything is good. And now you, if we go back to the code, you can see that our, uh, our source code is updated with the, the blog post uh, thing. Right? So right now, uh, the main branch contains uh, Alice's code. All right, now back to Bob. So uh, Bob might then do a git checkout. So I'm going to check out uh, to my features slash products. Okay. So notice that as we switched, you'll, you'll notice that it's back to the products controller and I can continue my work here. Okay. So let's say I want to make one last change here. Notice that helpers, uh, Alice did add a helper, but let's say Bob at the same time uh, is going to create another helper. So we'll say this is a public string and we'll say this is a format product because maybe um, we might need this function. We'll just return product in this way. And now I want you to notice that there will be a conflict between Alice's code and Bob's code. So let's say Bob is happy with this and Bob is going to do the... Oh, <laughs> we go all the way back here. It, uh, Bob is going to do the git add and do the git commit. And uh, this is going to be a feature where we added um, uh, a helper, All right. added helper. Not sure if the, we should actually call this a feature. Maybe, um, yeah, something better would be, would be better in this case. Um, but we've committed. And now we're going to do a git pull from the origin main. Now notice that Alice's code has just been merged into main. So there is going to be some conflict here. So, so when we do this pull, I'm going to notice that there is a conflict. Now, this is just code that GitHub has added in there. Uh, really, just, this is just text that I can alter uh, and I can just change uh, depending on what I want. Or we can just click on this in VS Code and accept both changes. And so I'm just going to fix this a little bit. And we see that we have both our code is, uh, is updated. So I'm, going to ch I'm just going to save this and let's commit this to, to our branch. So I'm going to do a git commit. Uh, this time, this is a fix of merge conflict in helpers. All right, so we're going to do a one more git pull origin main. I hope uh, by now everyone is kind of getting the, the workflow. Um, and then we'll do a git push origin. And this is features products. All right, so at this point, we're pretty happy with everything. So Bob is ready to merge it back into main as well. So let's go over to our uh, to our repository and we'll create a pull request. All right, so from features products, I want to merge it into main. And so we'll create a pull request. And we'll see here that there are no conflicts because we've already made our uh, conflict resolution. So now we can confirm our merge back into our main. All right, so I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.